Let's show you how to go live on Twitch in under five minutes. Today, you'll learn what software to use, what settings, how to capture your game, desktop and webcam, how to add a microphone, and of course, how to go live to Twitch with all of it. I will quickly say, if you're looking to learn the in-depth nitty gritty or get a giant fancy overlay set up, check out the playlist in the description. This video is aimed to help beginners just get live in five minutes. So start the timer. It's, it's already started? Oh, fuck. First to go live, you'll need broadcasting software. The two major options are Streamlabs and OBS. Download OBS from the link in the description and install it. Once it's installed, open it and you'll be met with this blank box and these blank panels. It looks confusing, but don't worry, it's not. On the left is scenes, the middle are sources and the right will display your audio. We'll come back to this in a second, so keep going to your right and click settings. Go to the streaming tab, go to service, go to drop down, click Twitch and log into your Twitch account. Next, go to the video tab. Here you'll set your resolution. Canvas is the resolution of the black box where we'll put our game later. Output is the resolution that we'll transmit to our viewers on the stream. The two most common are 1080p and 720p. If you have a decent PC, you can use 1080, likely no problem, so set both to that. But if not, set output to 720p. Below you have FPS. Higher doesn't mean better. Set this based on how much action and motion you'll have and how good your PC is. 60 for more action and a better PC, 30 for less and a worse PC. Now click output. These are where we control the settings you'll use for your stream. Keep this in the simple mode for now. Bitrate will determine most of your stream's quality. There is a link in the description to an article by Twitch to show you bitrate settings for different resolutions. Personally, if you're doing fast action gameplay, I recommend 720p output and between 4500 and 6000 bitrate. If the gameplay is slower and lacks a lot of movement, then 1080p and 6000 bitrate. Twitch bitrate is technically soft capped at 6000 and hard capped at 8000. 1000 bits is one megabit, so you need an upload speed that can handle the bitrate you set, plus some wiggle room. So for 6,000 bit rate, you'll need around 10 to 12 megabits to stream at the soft cap safely. Check your speed, go to the speedtest.net linked in the description and just click the button that says test speed. Don't touch your audio bit rate at all. Then if you have a new Nvidia graphics card, you'll select NVENC H264 here. If you can't use NVENC, then you'll probably end up using X264, which means CPU encoding. Then encode a preset. If your PC can handle it, you can set this to the best quality. If not, a nice starting point is slow and then lower it if you notice issues. To learn more about streaming settings or if you notice any lag or issues at all, there's a detailed video in the description. For now, we're getting you live in the easiest possible way and this will work. Now click audio. Here you will add your microphone and the desktop capture that will capture all of the sounds from your computer, such as your game. So click mic auxiliary and then select your microphone. Next, click desktop audio and select whatever your default audio is. If you're not sure, go to your Windows audio settings, go to sound and your output is your desktop capture and your input is your microphone usually. Below that is monitoring device. This should be your headphones or your speakers. If you need help with making your mic sound pro, link to the description is a video where I set up a $10 grocery store mic to sound pro. Click apply and you'll see your desktop and mic are now here in the audio section. Lowering this bar will lower the volume of your desktop sound or your mic. Aim for your mic to be around minus 12 near the top where it's yellow and desktop should sit around minus 32. Now let's add your game capture or desktop capture and a webcam. Right click the scene and rename it to game. Now go down to your sources and click this plus here. You'll see three ways to capture your game. First is game capture. If you add that and then open it, it lets you either automatically capture games or pick a specific window to capture. Some games won't work with game capture and in that case you'll use either desktop capture, which the name is quite obvious, it captures your entire desktop, so be careful not to show any private documents when using this, and then windowed capture. This is capturing a specific window, same as game capture, but it does any window you want. Once you've picked your capture type and you've captured a game, the source will appear in the source list. Now click the plus again, click video capture device and select your webcam. You can adjust the webcam settings here, I have a full video, that's right, in the description if you want to make yours look better. If you click the webcam, you can drag it to be smaller and fit it off to the side of the screen like this or hold alt to drag and crop in the edges. From there, you can click start streaming and you'll go live connected to the Twitch account that we set up earlier. That said, I strongly encourage you to go to your Twitch channel, go to the top right, click on channel, click on dashboard, edit stream info and set yourself a title that is engaging for your viewers. Set your category as what game you'll be playing, set some tags, language and you'll want to practice writing go lives to get clicks. Then click done and well, click start streaming. Since I still have time to spare, I will say if you want a big fancy overlay like this one, I've made over three dozen fully animated overlays and released them entirely for free in our community discord. Click the link in the description, join the discord, download them, and then you can use the detailed guides that are also in the discord to set those and the rest of OBS up in no time. I still have time to spare, so if this video helped you out, subscribe, check out my other content, and consider becoming a member for just $1 a month. I'll see you guys next week.